Hi, I'm Lisa Hayden with Community Focus on Washington County, Channel 6, Central Kentucky TV. Uh, and today we are interviewing Nell Hayden, who is the Main Street Renaissance Director. Welcome, Nell. Thank you, Lisa. And Thank I you. know you have a lot to tell us today. Here we are in the Opera House in Springfield, and I'm standing in the hallway looking at this beautiful uh, mural. Mural. Yeah. Well, we have three murals that are now um, here in the Opera House on the first floor. And uh, they have been a traveling exhibit because they were done in 2014. But these panels were done by our Washington County High School art students. It was a project that was funded by the Kentucky Arts Council and Springfield Tourism in the city of Springfield. And um, what the grant entailed was bringing uh, a professional artist in Kentucky out here to meet with our students, Mar Marilyn Peters, art students at the high school. Uh, Kathy Elliott and I uh, went to the school and taught them bits and pieces of Washington County history. And then we proceeded to just hand them lots of information, including the history book. And then we walked out and they created these three panels on their own. We had no, um, we had no assistance at all in what they selected to put in the three panels. But I must say they did an awesome job. And so this is the first panel that they uh, created. And uh, you can see that they have the buffalo along the wilderness trail. And that wilderness trail is very famous. Uh, it goes from um, Eastern Kentucky through Danville, through Springfield, through uh, Bardstown. It's called the Old Road. And it, that Old Road is right here in front of um, the Opera House. Main Street is part of that Old Road. Oh. You can really see the Old Road when you go to the Berg and you traverse up the Berg Hill because you can actually see it is a buffalo trail. So 150 originally was nothing but a buffalo trail that we ended up blacktopping years later. And of course now it's much straighter. But anyway, the buffalo trail's here. And then uh, they also have Elizabeth Maddox Roberts, who was a famous writer from here in Kentucky, world famous writer, that grew up right on North Walnut Street. A Time of Man was her most famous book, published in 1925. It was published in seven different languages. And uh, we still have a group of scholars that come here every year, the Elizabeth Maddox Roberts Scholars, uh, most of them from the United States, one from France, that come to study and review her work. So she's still very alive and well. Uh, we'd suck, or the third item they picked out, which I found most interesting because it wasn't even existence when they did this, is the Valley Hill Trestle. Most people remember, older people remember the trestle down there at Valley Hill. Lisa said she went across it once. Yeah. <laughs> but that. after Elodin left us, uh, that beautiful trestle was uh, torn down. And I'd also like to mention that Elizabeth Maddox Roberts' father was one of the engineers that designed that trestle. So that's, that's what he did for a living. Um, of course, Abraham Lincoln, we know, is very significant in Washington County. His parents married here. Um, uh, his father and mother uh, met here. And uh, they, of course, married out at Lincoln Homestead State Park in 1806. Um, John Sims Shipwreck Kelly is down here in the corner. The students really enjoyed learning about Shipwreck Kelly. Uh, he was a great UK football player. Um, he, I think, he held the UK record for the most yards gained by a player in a single game at, the, at this time during, I think it's been beat since then, but he was a heck of a good player and went on to play quarterback for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He was actually born right down here on the corner. It wouldn't have been the Dodgers, would it? It says the here. The Dodgers were baseball, weren't they? Well, this says played quarterback for the Brooklyn Dodgers. So we'll check hmm. that out. That doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll check that out. But that's what, our his, that's what we have here. <laughs> okay. And you and I aren't, we don't know our um, football history all that well, I'd say, or, you know, so anyway. Well, it doesn't, but anyway, we'll check that out. Yeah. 
And finally on this piece, they selected St. Rose Catholic Church. Um, it is, as you see, an architectural gem. This thing, this church opened, actually opened in 1809. It was the first, um, first Dominican church in the United States. And uh, this is where the uh, Dominican fathers ended up coming to uh, based on what the bishops asked them to do. And in 1822, of course, they started the First Order of Kentucky Dominicans. But the church is an architectural jewel, and it, it sits up on a hill uh, on St. Rose Road overlooking all that farmland. And, and the interior of the church is absolutely beautiful. So, so they did a great job on panel number one. And so now we'll go on to panel number two. I see up in there, is that a... Uh, That's a silo. Silo, and then what's that next to it? Uh, it looks like it's just a barn. Okay. A but they, bar, maybe. Uh, probably. Yeah. And, okay. and, and, they, and they also, the background of all this is old historic records, for, actually from our county. Oh, that's so. Right. So. Okay. Hey, well, I just want to clarify that uh, Robert Bobby Thompson just did tell us that uh, Shipwreck did play for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He said Brooklyn had both a football team and a baseball team. So yeah. Touche clarified that for us. So now we go to the second mural, and this is really full. Uh, this one has more information than any of them. So it takes me a moment to go through each one. But I'm going to start with actually the father of Washington County. And here's his picture right here. And that is General Matthew Walton. And um, General Walton was in the Revolutionary War and then came to uh, Kentucky and became a land surveyor and speculator. And he actually claimed over 200,000 acres at one time in Kentucky. And 45,000 of those acres were here in Washington County. And most of you know where he built his homestead was right across from St. Catherine up on the right as you're going to Bardstown. That beautiful brick home um, up on the right up on the hill, and then his law office was right now next that's to it. Norma Jean that's correct. Norma Jean Campbell yeah. and Virgil. That's the, the part yeah. of that's the original house he built, but, um, but that's where his home was located. And uh, the old kitchen was part of the original house that he built, but John R. Barber actually built that house she's in now. But it, he also donated 50, to 50 acres of the land that, uh, to Springfield, to the city of Springfield. And he was a legislator in, for Washington County. He was actually um, in the legislature that made Washington County a, a county. And he was the United States Senator also. So he, he was a really uh, fabulous guy. And um, he um, was very good to our city here in Springfield. Over here we have the Willisburg Bank, which is a historic structure. That was, born, that was built in the uh, early 1900s. And it, it's really very um, unique. It has a Romanesque architecture. It's right there on Main Street. And it's also now the office of the mayor. So uh, I thought that was really neat that they selected the, uh, um, the post office. Uh, we have here Phil Sims. Now Phil Sims is another famous football player that came from Washington County. He was born at Maple Hill Manor uh, and, and went to St. Dominic's school uh, for, for one or two years before his family moved on to, Wash or to Jefferson County. Uh, he went to Southern High School, was a tremendous player there, uh, went on to Eastern. Moorhead, I think, Moorhead. Oh, I thought it was Eastern. Moorhead, right. Okay. And, then, uh, and then started playing for the New York Giants and of course was a, one of their most valuable quarterbacks in um, the Super Bowl of 1987. And he, we have an exhibit here uh, that Phil's mother donated a lot of things about his life. And we have it here in the Opera House and I encourage people to come down and look at it because it's really a fabulous exhibit. And Phil's been here and was very touched by the things that his mother donated to the city of Springfield. Okay, and everybody knows our 1816 courthouse, and I, I love the way they did the cupola and they actually did the, uh, the structure itself. Um, that is the oldest building in, in the city of Springfield 
um, and it kept very, very well, and now houses our Lincoln Legacy Museum. And fiscal court still meets in our 1816 courthouse. Of course, this is Senator Georgia Davis Powers, a remarkable woman. Um, I'm so glad they selected her. She was the first black and first woman Kentucky senator. She just passed away last year. We honored her this summer at the African American Heritage Festival. And they're actually, we took that exhibit out to the high school so that the kids out there could learn about her. But you know as well as I that she was a fabulous promoter of civil rights, housing, women. She did a great deal for our state. Mm -hmm. yep. And for the uh, country, because she marched uh, in the civil rights movement with Dr. Martin Luther That's King. That's exactly right. And um, was actually there on the day that he was um, assassinated. So. That's correct. Next, they put the horses in here. And of course, we have two significant horse farms in Washington County. One is Calorama Farm, started in the early 1900s, that uh, is really an, an internationally known saddlebred horse farm. Uh, and, and, just, and actually, it's right here in the city limits. It's a beautiful farm. And then we have the other um, thoroughbred farm called Silverton Hill, Hill Farm, owned by Tommy and Bonnie Hamilton, who's actually had horses in the Kentucky Derby in 2007. If you'll recall, we had Dominican and Sedgefield. So that is part of our uh, history on our horse farms. Um, this, I have never, I don't know where they got this, but this is what it says. The kids said, this is a 1953 Ford Jubilee tractor. And this tractor depicted in this mural is used to illustrate the significance of agriculture in Springfield and Washington County. So there's some history with that vehicle and agriculture. Here up here we have the Mackville Community Center. Now Lisa, you'll remember when uh, a number of people got together to, to save that building. Mm -hmm. It was a school. It was a school. Mm -hmm. and, um, I'm, I'm just going to name some of the people that really fought hard to get the funding and get it renovated. You have Billy Ann Riley, you have Jim Powell, Karen Burns Carney, Brenda Yankee, Noel, Carlton Shoemaker, Lowell Peevler, and Gary Byerly. They, they were the committee that actually saved the building, got it funded, and now it's one of the nicest community centers in the state of Kentucky. And they use it all the time. So. Oh, yeah. So the Mackville Community Center is there. Here we have Jesse Head and, uh, no, I'm sorry, Jesse Head's up there. <laughs> uh, Jesse Head is the uh, minister that married Abraham Lincoln's parents. Yeah. And Nancy Hanks and Thomas Lincoln. That's right. And he was a, a very, very uh, well-known minister in central Kentucky. And they even found packages of tobacco seeds and if you'll see it's golden burley and white burley, that kind of tobacco was very, very significant here in central Kentucky, white burley tobacco. That's why we had tobacco was such a big industry because of the type of burley that was developed right after the Civil War and it was called a white burley. And so they even found uh, those tobacco seeds. Where did they found those? I think Marilyn Peters found them for them. Cool. Cause it, it's yeah. it's really neat, so so that they've included a lot of history in their their second mural, and we have one more mural to go. Now, who who was this? That would be uh, General Matthew Walton. Oh, okay. okay. So we saw him. Okay. Yeah. All right. And there's Phil again. I think. Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. So, so. yeah. And, and you said the background was... They're actually, you'll, you'll see their, their history records that they got out of our courthouse thing, I think, and made copies of and used it on the back. Uh -huh. okay. So it's really phenomenal. It's, it's really, really good. Yeah. Okay, now to panel three. Okay, this is the third and last panel that the students did. I also would like to mention the artist's name that came out from Louisville. Uh, her name is Carrie Naumeyer, and she's a professional artist that was actually, she stayed here a number of weeks to work with the students. She did a great job. So, okay, the third and last panel starts with the deer. And the students taught me this. There's a deer up here. 
I did not know. Yeah, you see the yeah. you see it? I did not know that Washington County was really uh, known for producing trophy class white-tailed deer. And uh, so the students taught me quite a bit themselves. So there's a lot of white-tailed deer in our county and there's a lot of hunting of those deer. <laughs> but that, that's a deer representing the uh, famous white-tailed deer that we have here. And then, of course, this is the Springfield Opera House, which is where we are right now. That was built in 1900 by John Barber, and uh, it was built as a community center. The first floor here was actually a place where people hung out at night. We had a bowling alley right in that conference room. So, uh -huh. it, you know, we didn't have TV and all that stuff back then, so people would gather here. And on weekends, they would gather upstairs for entertainment and dancing, and, and we still do theater today, but, but it was a... Any, all small towns in Kentucky at the, er, at the turn of the century, if they could afford it, they would build a community center and name it an opera house. So that's our opera house, and you're right here. I didn't know there was a bowling alley in here. There was a bowling, bowling alley right there. We, we have ah. the original plan, so. Okay, they, the students again selected another church, St. Dominic Catholic Church, which was actually a mission church of St. Rose. And St. Rose has numerous mission churches in Kentucky and beyond. But um, as the town of Springfield started to grow, a Catholic church was actually started right down here, um, right down here where, uh, right down the street from where Mary De Carey's design shop is. It, that's where our first church was. But then as the parish grew in the 1880s, they built St. Dominic Church right down the street here and it's a beautiful beautiful church okay our famous covered bridge right here i'm so glad the students picked it out um, that bridge is the longest bridge in kentucky it is an longest covered bridge the longest covered bridge in kentucky uh -huh. well today there may have been in, but right now it's the longest covered bridge in kentucky existing now yeah. and of course it spans the little beach river near morrisville in western Washington County. It's currently being renovated. Um, so it's, it's going to be really structurally sound uh, once the fellas from, I think they're from Vermont, once they get it completed, it's going to be in really, really good shape. They built the bridge in uh, 1871 for the cost of $5,000. So <laughs> things have gone up. Yeah. Up here, they, the students depicted uh, the log cabin uh, in our history, uh, of course, we still have the log cabin where President Lincoln's parents were married out at Lincoln Homestead State mm -hmm. Park and other cabins out there that show our pioneer history. So um, they've got that. Uh, another great athlete we have from Washington County is Paul Derringer. Paul Derringer was a tremendous um, a baseball player. If you go to the Cincinnati Reds today, you will see a banner in his honor. Uh, Paul Derringer had um, his 161 victories with Cincinnati are the club record uh, and uh, it actually ranked second in franchise history. He was a renowned um, baseball player. Derringer Avenue is named after him. What, what position did he play? Uh, I guess he was a pitcher. Oh, did you say pitcher? Okay. Well, ma'am, let me see. He was an American right-handed pitcher in major, major League Baseball. Okay. Great pitcher, yes. And last, we have Mr. Ed Poland. Many of, um, many of the people in our community remember Mr. Ed Poland because he worked at the Springfield Drugstore for many years. But Mr. Poland was actually the first African-American in Kentucky to enlist in the Marines. And he was actually fifth in the, the nation. Uh, he, he was sworn in in 1941 and he served primarily in the Pacific Islands. His record, uh, his, he uh, spoke with um, Arthur Kelly about his service in the military and his, that is recorded, that oral history is at UK. But um, he, he just, we went to Louisville last year to receive, his niece uh, received an award in his honor given to him by uh, Congressman Yarmouth. But he was a remarkable Marine. And they actually had a whole display on him in the Kentucky History Center. Yeah. So. I was thinking that, I don't know if that's still there or not. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. There and, well, you'll yeah. have to check that out. Uh, yeah. 
But anyway, I'm very proud of our students. They've covered the uh, different facets throughout our county, and uh, and I'm really I invite everyone to come down to the Opera House and come to the first floor and see our exhibit. Uh, pretty soon we're going to have little signs up that show exactly what is in each exhibit. And I want to thank you all for coming to let us put this on TV, yeah. on Channel 6. <laughs> well, thanks, Nell, for being here. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> okay.